Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to capture time-lapse video on your Olympus OMD M10 Mark II. The techniques and settings I'm about to demonstrate are also applicable if you have any of the other OMD range of cameras, either the EM1 or EM5 for example. Now just briefly for those of you that don't understand what time-lapse photography is, putting it simply, it's a process of capturing multiple still images and compiling them into a single video file. Those still images will be taken at interval and that will essentially result in a video file that speeds up time. And this is a very popular effect that you may be seeing on YouTube right now, videos or even the big screen. And in this demonstration today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at how to shoot a 4K time-lapse video. The first step is to click on the menu button on the back of the camera. Then from the shooting menu number one, list of options, use the arrow to get down to the last shutter control option and click on the OK button at the back of the camera. The first option here is for controlling the shutter release and operating the self timer. And the next one is the one that we want, which is called interval slash time lapse. By default, this is set to off. Press the right button to activate your time lapse mode and then select enter to put it into the on position. Now you can exit the menu, mount your camera on a tripod, take some time to compose your scene, and when you're ready, press the shutter button as you would normally do when taking a still image. You'll notice that a timer appears counting down from 99 and the OMD will automatically take photos at five second intervals until it gets down to zero. And then after it's done this, it'll automatically process the still images and compile them into a single AV video file. Now, for those of you who want more control over your time-lapse parameters, you can access the advanced controls by pressing the right button one more time on the time-lapse menu. The first thing you need to do is go down to the time-lapse movie setting and turn it off. By doing so, you won't end up with a time-lapse movie file that is automatically generated by the RMD. Instead, you'll end up with a sequence of still images, which you can then import into your favorite video editor to manually create your time-lapse movie. Anyway, now that the auto movie mode is off, you can go ahead and change the number of frames. The default is set to 99, and we can select any number we want. In this example, I'll go ahead and change it to 199, which will result in a longer movie. The next option allows us to set the start or waiting time, which essentially is a delay. By default, it's set to one second, so the time lapse will start almost immediately after you press the shutter. But if you want to set up your camera somewhere and delay the start time, you can delay the commencement of the time lapse by seconds, minutes, or hours. And now the most important setting of all, and the reason you'd want to go into manual in the first place, is the option to change the interval length. You can set the interval to any range to get a slower, smoother time lapse. You may drop it down to one second, for example, or to speed up time further, you may want to increase your interval to 15 seconds. The choice is yours. There are virtually no limits to the options and configurations for time lapse photography using the OMD range of cameras. One thing I did want to mention is if you're going out on a full day video shoot and wanting to capture multiple time lapse scenes, you may want to consider taking a second or even third battery. When you think about it, you're going to be taking hundreds, if not thousands of shots at any given moment, and that's going to deplete your battery life very quickly. Also, if you've got any comments about what you've seen in this video today, feel free to drop them in the comments box below and I'll try and answer you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Thanks for watching and bye for now.